Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Week in Weird, where I look back at the weirdest news stories from the past week. I'm actually recording this on a Friday because I'm away this weekend, so if anything amazing happens over the weekend, I'll just have to include it on next week's video instead. So anyway, let's, let's look at the first news story. Okay, this one's from the Gainesville Times. Police catch nursery rhyming gingerbread man suspect. Sheriff's deputies say they've caught the gingerbread man, a Pittsburgh area burglary suspect who referred to nursery rhymes when taunting authorities who couldn't catch up to him. So apparently on Monday, the uh, county deputies thought they had him cornered in some woods, but he managed to escape and later taunted them on Facebook, saying, They call me the gingerbread man. Catch me if you can. I'm running as fast as I can. But then they found him hiding in an attic, so I guess they could catch him after all. And uh, that's pretty much the whole story. There's no pictures or anything, which would have been good. I don't know what he actually looks like. Maybe he does look like a gingerbread man. At least that's the image I've got in my mind right now. Let's go on to the next story. Okay, we're going on to the good old Asian correspondent. This never fails to give us some kind of good story. A Chinese man's missing kidney found in his own body. And there's... I guess that's a picture of him. Lu Yongwei. He believed his kidney went missing after chest surgery. So a man who claims his right kidney mysteriously went missing after a surgery has been told it is right where it should be, albeit displaced and deformed. Lu Yongwei went for chest surgery after a road accident. He was told the surgery went well, and then he went to a second hospital for a CT scan. After the CT scan, doctors discovered that he had surgical tubing left inside him and they told him that his right kidney was missing so he tried to sue the hospital for removing his kidney a special investigation team was formed and they found that he actually did have his kidney after all but it was displaced deformed and atrophied by injuries which sounds weird so um i don't know what's going on there i don't know if they were, if they damaged his kidney during the operation but um that's the story so the report said the kidney was decayed and shriveled up. The hospital reportedly accused Lou of seriously distorting the truth with his claims. Well, it's not his fault, is it? They told him he had no kidney. But anyway, I just like that because of the headline. I mean, you find most of the most of the stories this week have got better headlines than the actual stories. All right, we're going on to the Daily Mirror now because this site has not disappointed this week. They've had a whole host of weird news stories, and uh, they'll go with the first one. The NASA space stream shows UFO, leave Earth and meet up with second craft. Wow. Some people have questioned whether what we are seeing is simply reflection of the sun on the clouds. Yeah, we've got a YouTube video. It's from Secure Team. We have some amazing new footage from the ISS. It was actually sent to me by two different people in the last couple of hours. Showing something, something we'll say, flying up and exiting the Earth's atmosphere. The first email said it looked like a rocket of some sort, possibly, or just a UFO that is basically, you can see it, what, what looks like it's, it's burning up in the atmosphere as it exits. And as you're seeing in the footage, and we'll zoom in and we'll talk about this, so bear with me, you'll notice that there's a very strange line sort of looks like clouds kind of like you would see from the exhaust. right there you go that's enough of that video you can go watch the full thing yourself on the website i don't want to um spend all my time on my video watching other people's videos <laughs> but uh, i think you get the idea from that it's a, a weird sort of glowing shape looks like it's emerging up from the from the earth very weird i'll tell you what i've just noticed though this i know this is completely off from what the video is how many how many news stories does the mirror have about people popping zits it's like one after the other. I could do a whole new series of just the zit news, but uh, I can't watch that rubbish. It makes me feel sick. <laughs> I think that's the one thing I can't actually look at, so no. Okay, so this footage shows a UFO leaving the Earth's atmosphere before, according to experts, appearing to meet up with another craft. It's causing excitement among UFO fans. That's pretty much it, really. The rest of the article just tells you what, what it's just quoting what the person said in the video, so we've heard him speak already. Okay, so people have said that it's just the sun reflecting off the clouds, but uh, 
Tyler, I guess that's the person from the Secure Team 10 videos. Tyler explains, this is not the sun, because when the sun reflects off of the earth, especially in ISS footage, which I have seen probably thousands of hours worth, it looks like these images. It is massive and doesn't reflect off the clouds, so I'm guessing this is what they're saying it looks like. And what do you think? Yes, they are clearly UFOs, or no, there must be another explanation. I can't think of any other explanation. Yes, I win. 53%. Finally, the majority agrees with me. There we go. That's uh, the first story from the mirror this week. We've got a few to get through. All right, next one from the mirror. Mystery over Miracle Virgin Mary statue that began to cry after owner's cousin was murdered. Maria Cardena said she had the figure for 10 years ago. That sentence doesn't make sense. Says she had the figure for 10 years ago. But it didn't start weeping until 18 months ago when her cousin Jesse Lopez was murdered. Maria has described the mysterious crying as a miracle and says she shares the tears she collects from the figure with anyone who visits her. I hope she lets them know that she's sharing it with them and she doesn't just like spike people's tea with it or something. That'd be weird. So she received the statue as a Mother's Day gift 10 years ago, but when Lopez was murdered 18 months ago, Cardena says the tears began to well up in the sculptor's right eye and stream down her face. So here's some pictures of the weeping statue. It looks quite wet all over really, not just the eye, it looks more sweaty than weepy. So the statue's caretaker, who didn't want to be identified, told Action News, we've had priests come from all over to look at her and they say that it's a miracle. Yeah, no poll at the bottom of this article, so obviously they, they don't need to know our opinion on that. Uh, let's go on to the next story. Another mirror classic. UFO attacks ISIS in bizarre footage showing mid-air explosion and mystery aircraft in the sky. The footage shows a huge comet-like object darting across the sky before it suddenly appears to burn up, sending debris flying. Okay, let's look at this. Aliens are finally fighting ISIS for us. Wow. What is that thing? That's almost definitely a UFO fighting ISIS. Okay, so aviation and security authorities have been left baffled after mysterious images emerged which appear to show a UFO attacking an ISIS stronghold in Turkey. Now, let's just go back to this footage. So I don't know about you. Let's have a look again. Let's pause that right there because that seems to be attacking something in the sky. Unless ISIS have got a stronghold in the sky, some kind of flying sky fortress. I'm not sure, but anyway. Let's just take it as it as it's written. It's it was an ISIS stronghold. Why would I doubt such a, a fine media outlet as the mirror? They've got a photograph of a ring around it, so that's always helpful. So it apparently happened on May the 5th at around 12.22 a.m. Um, police and air accident investigators have told local media that, it, that they have no explanation for the phenomena. They also claim that no debris has been found and no apparent cause for the mysterious object has been discovered. A police spokesman said, We believe this was a natural phenomenon. Shield detected. He's uh, covering something up there. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole article. They haven't got much more to say on the footage. I suppose it speaks for itself, but underneath the article, there's a, a great comment here from... Michael Lewinden. He writes, In the hope of the UFO sighting lives forever, I sent a bedtime story for a granddad to tell his grandchildren about a sighting that never got investigated. And here's the story. I'm going to read it out so that it lives forever. Dear Prince Charles, Once upon a time, 11th of September 2004 to be exact, a gran and granddad were driving back from babysitting their grandchildren when all of a sudden gran shouted, Watch out! Grandad was not looking where he was going and nearly crashed the van they were in. Grandad said he was sorry and that he was put off his driving by something that caught his eye up in the sky. 
Granny looked up into the sky and asked, What's that? Grandad stopped the van and they both got out to look. Wow, said Gran. Wow, said Grandad. They were looking at the spaceship. Huge, gigantic Grandad said, Wow, I could hit that with a cat. <laughs> Sorry, I think that's meant to say huge, gigantic. Grandad said, Wow, I could hit that with a catapult if I had one. Gran said, Why doesn't it make a sound? Why are there small, thundery clouds rushing inside it? They watched the spacecraft for over five minutes, then it started to move, slowly at first, then quite speedily. They jumped back in the van and followed it up the road to... And the story ends there. Great story, that. So, um... Right, let's go on to the next one. This is the last one from the mirror now. I really love the end of that story. To Very Franz Kafka ending. Bizarre video shows dog driving family car down main road as stunned passers-by watch. Matthew Jones was baffled when he spotted the pooch with its front paws apparently resting on the steering wheel. So here we go, apparently this is a dog driving the car down the street. Wow, that was clearly a dog. Wait, no, they've got slow-mo. He's not even got his hands on the steering wheel. What a reckless driver. I don't know what they're blurring out in the back there. Maybe there was a cat with a gun to the dog's head, forcing him to drive. Anyway, this is the bizarre moment a dog appears to be driving a family hatchback car down the road. Uh, motorist Matthew Jones from Rainhill, Merseyside was stunned when he spotted the pooch who appears to be a Jack Russell Terrier in the front seat of a navy blue Ford on Tuesday. The driver needed a second look to spot the driver with the dog on his knee. Ah, oh, well they've spoilt it now, haven't they? After the car turned in the road. The dad of two admitted that he incredibly thought the motorist had purposefully planned to make it appear like the mutt was in charge of the vehicle. He didn't do a very good job if he, that was his plan. Hands on the steering wheel. Um, so then Matthew says, At first I didn't realise there was a guy sat in the front seat with a dog on his knee because he was practically lying down. I wasn't expecting to see what looked like a dog driving a car. Well, you wouldn't expect that, would you? And it came flying down the road at some speed in the pouring rain. Obviously it wasn't a dog driving a car because he was sat there. But I think he was trying to make it look like he was in control. And then there's a... A big picture of Matthew's face. I thought a dog was driving a car. That's news, apparently. Um, yeah, that's uh, that, that's it. That's the story. He thought a dog was driving a car. It wasn't. It was a man lying down, holding a dog. And um, that, oh, no comments on that one. Oh, I wanted to hear a story about a dog driving a car or something. But anyway, that's that's all the output of the mirror this week. Let's go on to something else now. Oh yes, here we go, the Daily Star. Watch! UFO scene hovering over Leicester as City toasts Prem victory. I don't know anything about football, honestly, don't know a single thing. I'm guessing they won the Premiership, did they? Leicester City's heroics are truly out of this world and so are some of its fans. So here we go, we've got a, a video apparently of the, uh, the UFO. It's a man standing on a sign, that's quite impressive in itself. And then, yeah, there's certainly is a UFO flying around there. So, there we go. As revelers are celebrating down below, a mysterious blue orb can be seen hovering in the sky. The footage shows a bizarre blue entity moving rapidly as one fox's fan is splashed with beer in the foreground. The viewers were left mystified by the strange object, not believing their drunken eyes. They didn't sound like they'd noses it at all, to be honest with you. And then it says, Fox's fans' boozy celebrations fill the swamped a &E department to bursting point as hospital officials urge people to stay away. And then uh, that's about it, really. That's not really anything to do with the UFO, though. The uh, drunken Leicester City fans ended up in A&E says at the bottom, but it is not Leicester that is the home for UFO sightings. Sightings of alien life occur as regular as once a fortnight in Manchester, 
crowning it the UK's UFO capital. Now I lived in Manchester for five years, I didn't see a single UFO, so I don't know what that was. I think the only time I've actually seen a UFO is um, when I was on holiday in the Lake District, because the sky there was incredibly clear. Anyway, that's that story. That's uh, not as racy as most of the Daily Star story. That's quite tame for them, actually. Um, so we got another story from the Daily Star. This one's a little bit more crude. So uh, look away now if you uh, don't like rude things. Frog's huge extra leg penis breaks the internet. Social media have gone crazy over photos of a frog with what appears to be a large penis. So here's the picture. Are you ready? <laughs> there it is. Mm -hmm. Social media users were wowed by the bizarre snaps. Experts say the penis is actually said to be an extra partially formed leg, as frogs don't have penises apparently. I didn't know that, but you, you learn something new every day when reading the Daily Star. Jerry Marantelli from the Australian Amphibian Research Centre said, it's not a penis, frogs don't have them. But he also added, but penises did evolve from legs during embryonic development. So the extra leg is part way there. Oh, there we go, let's have a picture of it. It does look more like a leg in this photograph, so, you know, it's just a leg, people. It's not anything rude. It's just a weird deformed leg. And um, well, no comments on that story. What a shame. So let's have a look what else we've got. I think that's all we've got from the Daily Star this week. Oh no, there's one more. Oh yeah, this one seemed interesting. Let's have a look. Okay, incredible claims. Did David Bowie predict the rise of Kanye West 40 years ago? Um, David Bowie left an astonishing pop music legacy following his death earlier this year. But did he predict the rise of another star four decades ago? The Ziggy Stardust singer left millions of music fans in mourning after losing his battle with cancer in January but a staggering theory has emerged since his passing, and there just might be something in it. Did Bowie foresee the rise of Kanye West, and is Yeezus himself to become the next megastar? I'm guessing Yeezus is Kanye West. I had no idea. I'm not down with the, with the pop's musics. The first origins of the conspiracy appear to be an obscure blog called The Kanye West David Bowie Conspiracy. He has come again which appeared online as far back as March 2007. The site begins with the author analysing the front cover of the 2006 issue of Rolling Stone. It features a bloodied Kanye wearing a crown of thorns and the headline, The Passion of Kanye West. So there, there it is, there for you to look at. The author claims Kanye is the Jesus of the music industry, but Bowie is the John the Baptist of music. But the theory gets really interesting with the next observation. Bowie released his fifth album, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and The Spiders from Mars, on 6th of June, 1972. And here's the picture. And there you can see, he's underneath what a sign, it says K West. But on its iconic cover, Bowie stands under a shop sign with the word K West. Some believe it's the first reference of the star ushering in Kanye West. The first track on the album is called Five Years, and five years from the release of that album, almost to the date, on June 8th, 1977, Kanye West was born. And on Bowie's last album, Black Star, the opening track of the same name features the following lyrics. Something happened on the day he died. A spirit rose a meter and stepped aside. Somebody else took his place and bravely cried, I'm a black star, I'm a black star. It is claimed this is Bowie describing the transition from himself to West upon his death, with Kanye literally being a black star. The verse continues, I'm a black star, I'm a black star, not a gang star. Lyrical genius. Um, so this is supposed to be a nod towards Kanye West, who marketed himself away from gangster rap. And it says, here's, your, here's where it gets really interesting. Again on Black Star, the third track is titled Lazarus and its dark video featured the bedbound Bowie as he fought for his life. Lazarus is also the biblical figure in chapter 11 of the Gospel of John. He becomes ill, dies, is placed in a tomb, only for Jesus to bring him back to life. On Kanye West's album Yeezus, the last one he released at the time of Black Star, the third track is called I Am God. 
Many, many claim this is deliberately synchronized to reveal David Bowie hands the reins to Kanye West on his death. So it says that's not the only conspiracy surrounding the Black Star album. Um, in December last year, it was claimed Black Star was a warning of an apocalyptic collision between Earth and a giant hidden planet. So um, we'll see if that ever happens. And um, it says as conspiracy theorists are spoiled this year, celebrities have been dropping like flies in 2016. Um, Prince is, is probably the most high profile and intriguing of them all. Prince's death by secret agents was predicted on The Simpsons. Well, the Purple Rain singer was a conspiracy theorist himself and could have foreseen the 9-11 terrorist attacks. And there's more links there. There's only so much time in each episode. I wish I could have a look at those links as well, but um, I've got to round this video up. I can't spend all day looking at Prince conspiracy theories. So let's go on to the last story. Okay, we're going on to the Saturday Monitor. I think this is a Ugandan website. Okay, bats invade APAC health facilities. Bats have invaded... Uh, health centre and caused damage. So apparently it was the maternity ward. It says this year they were rebuilding the maternity ward. And just imagine someone giving birth while bats are flying around their head. I mean there's not much to say about this. I really just wanted to show it for the picture because I found it funny. I like the way this guy's pointing up at the uh, the roof there as if this woman can't see the hole. And he's got to point it out for her. It's like yeah it's right there. She's like well I don't see any hole. Um, yeah, that's that's not really a, a weird story at all. I just, just I just found this picture funny. That's all. That's all for this week. Um, I hope you like the stories. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the of the new stories. As always, if you find any strange new stories that you think would be good for this series, you can send me a tweet or a message on Facebook or leave a comment down below. Until next time, goodbye.